Hey everyone, this is Mark Gaming 3394, owner of Mark Gaming TV, coming at you with a late Thursday night video. We are bringing you some Thursday night football, the reaction of a Thursday night football game, a game in which the Bears won 16 to 13, thereby improving to 3 and 7 on the season. Panthers losing, they dropped to 1 and 8. And still have not won a single away game this season. Overall, I'm just going to say this. The game was not pretty on either side of the ball. Let's look at offense. What did they do? Panthers, 213 yards of total offense in the game off of 57 plays. Passing yards, 170. Rushing yards, 43. And they had nine drives. Averaging 3.7 yards up play. They threw for 21 out of 38, again, for 170. The good news is they, he didn't throw in it. Bryce Sean did not throw in an interception. That was about the only good thing on offense that the Panthers had all game. Man, red zone. They got in the red zone once, and they did not get it in the end zone or even get a field goal out of it. I mean... At least the deep, at least the special teams got a punt return for a touchdown, so they did get a touchdown out of the game. Bears, meanwhile, were a little bit better. They did win the game, obviously, but they only had 295 yards of total offense, 4.2 yards of play, 162 yards uh, passing, and 133 yards rushing. Now, I will say, four men on the Bears, he did a good job. 21 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. He did a really good job, so I'll give them credit where credit's due. You know, so. At least there's that. But overall, guys, it's just it was not a good game on either side, really, if I'm being honest. It was a clean game in terms of the fact that neither team committed a turnover. But in terms of production, it's clear that both teams, especially the Panthers, have a lot of work left to do. Bryce Young, who was the number one draft pick, Taken by the Panthers, and then they and was involved in that mega trade with the Chicago Bears. And by the way, I will go over that trade with y'all. In that trade, it brought the Bears received the Panthers' 2023 first round pick, 2023 second round pick. They also got the Panthers' 2024 first-round pick, which is looking like it's going to be uh, the number one pick at this rate. Uh, 2025 second-round pick. And he also got DJ Moore. And the Panthers got the number one pick out of it, and they took Bryce Young. And I'm going to say a couple things that the announcers said earlier in the game. Until the Panthers can build good pieces around Bryce Young, Bryce Young is not going to look very good until they can build pieces around him. It's not necessarily Bryce Young's fault. He needs a good offensive line. He needs a good team. He needs good coaches. Because right now, Carolina, they are just wasting Bryce Young at this point. And I am sorry to all the Bryce Young fans out there, but maybe it's time that Bryce Young maybe look somewhere else. Because right now, with as big a mess as Carolina is in, Bryce Young is not a good fit at Carolina. I mean, right? I mean, you look at the other guys that was drafted in the first round. You have C.J. Stroud. You know, he's actually coming into to his own. You know, he had a really good game last weekend. Will Levias, uh, just people like that. And then you see Bryce Young. Like I said, it's not Bryce Young's fault. He's trying his hardest at the Panthers team, but he can only do so much. Panthers don't have a good old line. They don't have a good coaching. They don't have good ownership. You know, they're one of the richest uh, franchises in the NFL, and they're mismanaging their money so hard because they cannot, you know, get good players. So that being said, guys, I'm going to leave it to you. What do y'all think the Panthers should do? And do y'all think Bryce Young really is a good fit at the Carolina Panthers? Or do you agree that, like me, think that Bryce Young should go somewhere else. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Until then, until next time, Mark Gaiman signing off for now.